There are two website addresses or URLs that you include with your ads. The destination URL is where you should enter the exact link of the web page where you'd like to send your customers after they click your ad. The display URL is the version of your destination URL that will be visible to users in your ad. What is a correct display URL? Here are a few of the policy guidelines for your display URL. The display URL in your ad must fully match the domain of the website where users will land after clicking your ad. A domain is the core part of a website's URL address. For example, for both youtube.com forward slash ads and www.youtube.com forward slash google, the domain is youtube.com. Let's say that your ad takes users to the website youtube.com. Your ad's display URL must also contain the exact same youtube.com and not adwords.com or any other site or domain variation. Another requirement is that all display URLs within a single ad group must refer to the same website. This applies to all active and paused ads within an ad group. If you want to advertise a different site, create a new campaign or a new ad group. Here are a few examples and hints to help you avoid some common issues. These two URLs actually represent different sets so you cannot have them both as display URLs within one ad group. You also can't have one as a destination URL and the other as a display URL in the same ad. The same applies to this example. If your site is hosted on a domain that hosts other sites, you need to include your specific path within that domain, like my site in this example. If your web page is found at mysite.blogspot.com, you would need to use that as your display URL and not just blogspot.com. Finally, remember that the display URL is meant to give users an idea of where your ad will lead them. Therefore, your display URL needs to match the domain of the website where users will land after clicking your ad. Even if your domains for display and destination URLs look the same, make sure your destination URL does not redirect users to a different domain. For example, if you're using example.com as your display and destination URLs, that URL cannot redirect users to google.com. Redirects used for tracking purposes are fine if the final destination URL uses the same domain as the display URL. Let's summarize. A correct display URL has the same domain as other ads, paused and active, in the same ad group, and it matches the domain of the actual web page where users land after clicking your ad, after any redirects. Now you should be well equipped to create ads with correct display URLs. If you have any ads which were previously disapproved for inaccurate display URLs, you should edit them and they will be re-reviewed. Next, we'll show you how. In your AdWords account, go to your Campaigns tab and then click the Ads tab. Place your mouse cursor over the table row that lists the ad you want to edit. Click the pencil icon next to your ad and you'll be able to edit your ad right there. Make sure you actually edit your ad in some way. If you don't make any edits to your ad, it won't be resubmitted for review. Know that after you save, you can always edit your ad again to change it back to the way it was. Click Save when you're done editing your ad. After editing and saving your ad, the Status column will change to reflect its current status. It will change from Disapproved to Under Review or Eligible. We work to review all ads in our program as quickly as possible, usually within three business days. If you want to learn more about AdWords URL policies or AdWords policies in general, Visit the Policy Help Center at support.google.com forward slash AdWords Policy.